You know what's nuts? Jams are. And I need your help to figure out how much force these put outward on the rock. I've got a little jib here we're gonna show you and I'm gonna tell you why I care about this. And after we agree what it theoretically should be and we agree that this machine is going to tell us the actual number, then we will save the results for another video. But I wanna make sure this is done right before I pull on 20 or 30 different cams and let's just get into why I care about this. If you're ever climbing on something that's got a loose flake and you can kind of feel it moving and you stick one of these bad boys in there and how much force is that? How much force is it pushing outward if you're pulling down, let's just say your own body weight. Let's for simple math, one kilonewton, how much force is going out this way? And we have a Discord channel, uh, server community uh, forum now that is getting into the weeds about the math. And so please join that if you are a nerd because the concern is that the cam is putting out a lot more force than you're pulling on it. So if I'm doing one kilonewton down, is it doing two, three, four, five, six kilonewtons outward? Now, the reason I just love testing things is because I have seen people discuss math that gives us wildly different answers and they all sound very right or confident. But it's also not easy to calculate according to watching people trying it. If I have it tipped out where I just barely squeeze it and place it in the rock, is that a different force than if I squeeze it as hard as I can based on how scared I am? And then I place it, is that cam angle against the rock the same? And then totem cams are entirely different because it doesn't have an axle, but it has the cable pulling from the back of the head, pulling it into the rock more. Now, even Totem came up with a math formula on what they, I think they think what it is. I don't know if they actually did testing and I don't have a real number to where I could be like, oh, it's four times stronger. Now, I asked an engineer at the Black Diamond Lab while I was there testing ultralights if they've ever measured the force that a cam pushes outwards. And they basically said no because the formula was so easy. And he told me, I believe if I remember right, four to one. And that seems very simple. Maybe it is simple. The cams seem complicated. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. But back to why I care about the answer is because if I can reduce the force by tipping out a cam versus squeezing a cam versus not using a totem, if that pushes more force or using a totem if it doesn't, or if nothing matters because it's all based on friction, or if nuts put on just as much force and nobody's ever talked about that, or if a tri-cam does better or worse than a cam. If I have two boulders next to each other and I place a cam and I'm gonna maybe even uh, take a whipper or I'm gonna be hauling a big load or I'm rigging a high line off of it and I'm, it's going to see a lot of force, I wanna make sure that if these things look like they could ever move, how much force it would take to move. We actually had an entire Highline anchor fail once because we had cams placed around a boulder inside of this bowl shaped thing. And there was a boulder in the middle and cams were placed all the way around the boulder. And it came out. And I think there were some nuts in there too. The rock moved. And so we care about this stuff. Luckily we had an apocalyptic anchor slung around a horn facing the direction we were going. And that, that was the only thing really holding the my buddy up. I think the math ends up getting pretty weird when you start to go like this and pull down. Now, what I've noticed on the forums is a lot of people gravitate <laughs> towards friction. And I'm wondering if it's not moving, does friction play a role with how much pressure is being pushed against the rock or these uh, aluminum lobes here? How much force is going on there with or without friction? If it's not sliding out, do we care about the friction? Now, whenever I've used, now this is a cam tester where we put them in there and we have two plates that look pretty much like this. And we put uh, files on here in order to, for cams to not slide out because they were sliding out if it just had bare metal on here. Cams do require friction to not slide out. That's why you don't use them on ice. But if it's not moving, does that change anything about the pressure being pushed outward? I'm also curious how to measure angles because if I go down and over and this is curved and this is touching and the axle's up here, but that's touching down here, where's the, how do you measure the angle? In the video where we test all this stuff, I will make sure I know the answer to that from your guys' feedback on how we measure this, show people how they can measure it at home and demystify that part of it because there's a little bit of mystery for me to demystify. Now, 
Let me show you my new toy. My buddy Lucas made this for me and it is fairly simple, except it's not. Uh, it's anything's easy once you know how to make it. But we have some bolts down here that pivot on this bar here. And this thing opens outward based on the cam opening. These eye bolts go to the slings that I hold to the load cell that I have going this way in order to measure how much force we're pulling. Now Lucas gave me the CAD file for this, so I will make sure that's available in the Discord channel and also the description below. Ah! <laughs> All right, that's how that works. It needs that component to hold it together. Imagine that. So this is line scale three. And inside of here, we have a machine part that is a 10 millimeter radius here, pushing up against that part, which is gonna give us the most accurate number. If you don't pull on this evenly and you grab like, let's say three fingers, you would get a different number than if you pulled with one finger. You wanna pull this in the way it's designed, not just because the eye is big, you can't just pull it any way you want. So this keeps it stabilized. It has almost no force going up or down that way. And so this is gonna give us an accurate reading from here, but here is not where here is. And that's where I need your help. These freely spin, so there's uh, low friction. You can't say no friction. Get called out for technicalities there. This has few grooves, so it doesn't slide out. And the distance from here to the middle of this to here, this is the same as this. I don't trust the fisheye lens, but this looks good to me in person, 75 millimeters. And from the center of that hole, to there is about 75 millimeters. So this is ready to read a load. So if we were to place this in here, we would want it to be as centered as possible this way and as centered as possible this way. And we will test that when we do our final video, how much that affects the number. Also keep in mind, we are pulling directly in the center of these two plates. And I can't just set it on top of here. It has to sit level with the load cell. And because these are separated, then we don't want them to come to a V because that adds math and we don't want to do more math. So that pulls evenly there. It pulls, that's what it looks like on this side. And we're pulling straight this way. And in order to pull slow and controlled because my hydraulic is an all or nothing type of hydraulic because it's a cheap pump that we have sliding next to sliding next to an Amazon soft shackle. Maybe preferably with my little catcher on there so it doesn't hit me in the face. And I can pull this very controlled and get exactly the number that I'm trying to achieve here and then compare it to the number that we get from this load cell so we can break some gear fear. So if I use a line scale, I intend to use peak unless you guys suggest otherwise in order to capture the peak load here and then the peak load over there. And if I do this, and I can get up to, and if I can get up to 2KN, let's say, I went past two. Now, if I went to 2KN, that's the force up here. How much force is being applied right there? That's the question. We're dealing with a lever here, and I believe this is seeing half the force as that, and I just don't know if the math is that simple. So in this case, that cam would have seen four kilonewtons outward, four-ish if that saw 2.15. Once we agree on what this number means for this spot, then we can compare different orientations and everything because that's gonna be an in-depth video and compare it with the number that we're getting from the actual pull. And you guys can tell me if you think that number is even accurate at all because friction and it's sitting level and even. And if I pull one unit this way, does that mean it's being pulled against that one unit? I hope so, because most of my videos are based on that theory. And then we can try other cams like this where it's a little bit more tipped out. And then we can try a tri-cam stuck in there. And then Lucas is going to make me a slightly tapered one so we can try nuts. Whoa, that introduces new math. And so we are gonna try cams in the slightly tapered ones as well to make sure we're comparing apples to apples. And if there is a way we can improve this experiment or interpret the data better, please let us know either in the comments of this YouTube video, which is, a, it's an okay spot to do, but Discord is a little bit easier in order to share files and, and have a more in-depth conversation. Something we just finished is all the cams that we sell, this is not a cam I sell. All the cams we sell have now, uh, we have measured every little tiny thing about it, and it's on every product page 
that they're on. And we are going to make a video after we're done with this project. We're going to show the differences between cams that you may never have known because they have all these cam charts that compare one cam to another based on the manufacturer's numbers and they do not measure them all the same. So that uh, thumbnail will probably be that graph that says this is a myth. But you can go look at those cams in detail on our website and buy cams at hownotto.com which support us doing things like this. See you in the comments.